This is the Altritz Mystery Potions Kit. Um, specifically, it is the Boy Potions 002 model. I received this from Amazon as a product for free to review as part of the Amazon Vine Voices review program. I um, have not been paid for this review and they have no editorial control over what I say. Okay, so we have the instruction book, the mystery potion not edible powder, can be mixed with other potion, only add water alone, and a potion recipe book, along with some mysterious crystals and leaves and threads and doohickeys and some flashy stuff and then the mystery potion storage box which has some stickers a lot of potion bottles of various heights and sizes there's also corks to go with these and a collection of glitter along with other heart-shaped potions models, a couple of bowls for mixing, some dye to stain your table, some tiny, tiny funnels useful for filling potion bottles, and some more random things to put in potion bottles. Well, this looks very exciting. My 11-year-old can't wait to get his hands on this. All right, each bottle has a different name. The large magic bottle, the small magic bottle, the potion bottle, the happy bottle, the uh, mermaid tears, water of life, and golden sunshine. And there's a listing here of everything that you will find, along with an educational key about how to mix colors with pigment. So here's an example recipe. You take the rainbow stars and put them in a large magic bottle using the fairy stick to push down on the funnel if they get stuck. You add magic things like the smart bones, you add water and colorants, and then you add your label and shake. Alright, the mystery potion bottle here, you add water and it erupts. That's probably a sink potion there. You ready? I'm ready. It's erupting. I think it's pretty much done. Alright, my son found a misprint on page 8. They have mixed up the labels for the stirring rod and the moonlight powder, because that's the moonlight powder and this is the stirring rod. Okay, my son spent about two hours making potions and he has filled the case. He made every potion in the book and then he made a couple of off-label ones. You just have to be ready for the glitter mess. Um, so make sure you do this with some type of covering or something where you can uh, clean up easily. And he wants me to make sure to point out that the moonlight powder glows in the dark because that's, that's the good stuff apparently. So it's not only glitter, it's wet glitter because all of these potions are water-based, which is kind of sticky and hard to pick up with a vacuum. Alright, I think that provided $22 worth of entertainment, and we actually have about the same number of bottles left over and plenty of things to make another set of potions. We just kind of ran out of storage space in their fancy little display box.